All right, I'm here at my buddy Rusty Sancho's house. He's a, a part-time cop right. nearby me for a couple of places, and his duty gear is getting a little long in the tooth, as you can see. So we are gonna set him up with a brand new belt and vest cover, and I figured we'd take you all along for the ride of how to set up these new Molly belts and Molly vest covers. A lot of departments are switching over to them, and I get a lot of questions from people on how to set them up, like how to thread things through Molly and, and how to put them in the proper order. So we're gonna take you down to the tabletop, show you his old stuff, and then we're gonna set up the new duty belt and vest we got from Safe Life Defense. So this is the setup currently. He's got a Bianchi belt, uh, some more Bianchi pouches. He's got his modded knock uh, baton holder and a the probably the oldest modded knock baton, extendable baton I've ever seen that's in continue, like continuous use. This thing's probably older than me. He's got a Red River Tactical holster over here, uh, just kind of attached with a, a blade tech clip. We're gonna try to change that for him in the future, get him a Safari Land UBL for this or something. And he's got uh, two handcuff pouches in the back. And then the rest of his stuff, he puts it on the bottom of the molly on his vest. He's got all this area up here that he's not using. And he's got pockets up here that don't have any flaps over them. So we're going to try to upgrade this, get him where some of these molly pouches that he's currently using can be used on the belt. And we're going to try to put his radio back on his belt where it's always going to be on his person, even if he's in the station doing administrative work, doesn't have his vest on him. All right, so your first step in setting up something like this is getting all the stuff that you want to put onto the belt and figuring out where you want it on there and how it's going to attach. So the first things you need to set up is things that you either have to slide through the belt or that you have to molly attach to them because those are things that are going to be more difficult. So we're going to start with the stuff that we have to actually slide onto the belt to where it needs to go because these belts, all of them pretty much only open one direction. So if you've got a UBL clip for your duty holster, or you've got a Safari Land brand or Bianchi brand pouch that you have to slide on like a mag pouch or something like that, you want to put those on first, and then you attach everything that mollies onto the belt, because you're going to need a lot of dexterity in that belt. You don't want to have a bunch of stuff clipped to it, because when you put it in there, what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a butter knife and slide it through all the molly and then replace the butter knife with whatever your molly clip is that you're gonna to use to attach into it. And with the belts now, it gives you options because a lot of stuff, if you wanted to molly it to something, you had to molly it onto your vest cover. Uh, now you have the option of putting any molly product on the vest cover or on the belt. So it gives you a little more flexibility with these new style of molly belts. So we're gonna start off there. Uh, the first thing that we have that's gonna just slide on there is gonna be a mag pouch, we're gonna throw that on there for you. And then we've got some stuff that needs to be mollied on, like our Maxpedition dump pouch over here. And then I've got our Allegiance holster uh, mag pouches over here. There's actually a coupon code for those down below if you're, you're interested in those. These attach really easily. They're a great little mag pouch. And then we're gonna do things that just kind of Velcro over the top, like the radio pouch. We're gonna start with stuff that has to slide onto the belt. All right, so we're going to start off with, on our Safe Life Defense belt, you got a Cobra buckle up in front here. And in order to slide things on, you can see one side of this buckle is attached permanently. That's for safety and durability purposes on this. You don't want to have the, the less attachment points that you have, the better. And the other side is a slide through on the Cobra buckle. This side is designed so that once the buckle is pulled tight, it locks the webbing into place. It's actually a really, really nice design. So they have a little elastic strap here that you pull back and then you get the, the tail end of the belt pouch and you have to slide it through. You can't pull this off, it, it'll lock in place. You have to actually slide the nylon webbing through and then slide the buckle off and then slide your little elastic loop off and then you're gonna hold on to both of these and make sure you know where they're at because you gotta be able to get these back on and I lose them all the time. And now you can slide on any attachments you want. So as an example of a slide on attachment, you can see this old belt pouch for my Motorola HT1000. Brought it with just to kind of show you guys. These things are a pain. Oh, there it goes. So you wanna take the radio or anything else that's extra on your pouch off. So you have just the part that goes onto the belt. And then you just slide the belt loop onto whatever you're attaching. So we're gonna slide that on, and then you slide it into place. Because if I attach, Molly attach things onto this belt, 
or clamp attach things onto this belt, then I have to take them off and move them in order to slide my in-placed products on there. So one solution for having to deal with things like this is better pouches. And today we're gonna to be attaching on here this turtle back pouch for our new radios, which this is the, the Motorola APX 7000 series. And turtle back has this pouch where you've still got a, a mount, mounting a metallic, you've still got a metal metallic clip, but it attaches onto the belt via Velcro. So you just Velcro that onto the belt wherever you want it. So we can actually put this on last if we want to and have, instead of having to worry about it. Uh, most holster pouches, sorry, most holsters have to be attached via the slide through method. So it's important to get your pistol mounted up where you want it first. So once you've got everything on the belt that you want to be able to slide onto it in the order you want to slide onto it, and you've got them where you want to put them, you're going to put your buckle back on, which means we're going to put our little elastic holder on there that's going to hold the end of the belt on our adjustment. And then we're going to attach our Cobra buckle back on to the webbing. So our next step is gonna be molly attaching things where we want them molly attached because that's really gonna be something that's locked in place that we're not gonna to wanna to redo. So we're gonna start off with our new taser mount. Uh, this is a platform mount for a taser that just slides onto molly webbing. Now, this type of platform mount won't work really on the micro molly on these belts because it's only two rows of molly. But if you've got multiple rows of molly and you want to be able to attach these on, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on his vest close cross draw so that it's not going to get confused with his pistol. It's up on his vest, up high on the vest, but it's going to be attached up where he can easily get to it with both hands and it's going to be set up where he's not having to reach all the way across himself to get the pistol from the other side. So to attach these is pretty easy. Uh, you need a screwdriver and you unscrew the clip attachment that comes on it, and then screw the platform back onto it. I'll put a link down below to the platform where you can go and get one of these and where you can get the Blade Tech pouch here. And these attach onto the Safe Life Defense Uniform Carrier with the Molly on the bottom or their tactical carrier uh, pretty easily. All you have to do is line these up where you want them and it all snaps on as one piece. So we slide underneath. You can use a butter knife if you want to to get these up. Sometimes Molly is a little tight. And then once you get them slid in there, and you get them all hooked under at once, you press down until you get them locked into place. Now once it's in place, you've got little clips under here that you need to get up and around the top of the molly and that's going to lock it in so nobody can just grab the taser off of the holster and yank it. They'd actually have to break the screws out of the back of this in order to get it off. So we're going to take our butter knife again, push down on the molly webbing and then pull up on the clip to pop it underneath. So now you can see that right there is how you're gonna want all four of these to look once they're attached. And that's gonna keep this from being able to just be grabbed and yanked off of the uniform carrier. So next we're gonna be attaching the extra pouches that we wanna mount onto this vest. Now, if you're dealing with a flexible pouch, it helps to take the armor out of the carrier. And then you've got two flexible materials that you're meshing together instead of a hard material, another hard material, because there's a lot of bending involved with putting things on a molly, pulling the armor out really helps. So now that the armor's out of here, it's gonna make it a little easier to attach pouches. We're gonna be using this 511 double AR mag pouch. We're gonna be attaching that to his vest cover. So with these, they're pretty simple. There's buttons underneath, little snaps, and then they slide over. So these are pretty easy to get on, especially once you've got the armor out of this. Just kind of come from the top and weave it under the loops on the vest and then back through the loops on your pouch. Like that, and you continue till you're all the way at the bottom.
You can see how this being flexible is a real big advantage. So once you get them all the way through, you snap them down. Now the procedure is pretty similar when you're attaching things to a vest cover. Even if you have some sort of hard metallic uh, clip that runs through it. In fact, it's, it's almost exactly the same process. We're gonna look at another type of attachment system for Molly here in a second when we get back to the belt. We're gonna put a dump pouch on it. So next we're gonna wanna attach things that have to Molly on. And so our example today is going to be this Maxpedition dump pouch. And just like we took the armor out of the vest before we start attaching things to it, we want to do with things like this is open them up, take whatever accessories are in them out. So this dump pouch, we're just going to open it up, and now we've got a much more flexible base to work with while we're attaching it to the belt. So with this type of clip, that's a polymer clip that attaches into a little tab, I like to put the tabs up. It makes it a little easier for me to take them off when I'm done with them, and it keeps them from poking into my butt at the bottom, which is kind of a problem for me. I got a little road of a rump on me. So to attach these on the micro molly like we have on uh, the Safe Life Defense belt here, we're just gonna run it through the bottom molly first. You can see it's a lot easier when you don't have a bunch of stuff on the belt and slide it all the way up and into place, like this. Then we're gonna run it through the middle, middle molly section. For this, it makes it a lot easier to throw a butter knife in there, pull up the molly webbing, get the butter knife underneath our little plastic clip, and then it lets it slide up very easy, just like that, and we're gonna do it on both sides. We're going to pull that up and tight, and then we're going to have to run this clip up and around and under this micro molly here. So to do that, I'm going to run the butter knife through the top here, make myself a little gap, and then get that shoved all the way up underneath. Do the same thing on the other side, shove it through the top. Ram that bottom one through, and then we're going to push them both through together. Now, once you have them up through, linked through the Molly, you just take this plastic tab and pop it in. And that locks the whole thing in place. And then once you put any weight on this, it settles down into itself. Now we just fold back up the dump pouch. And it's rock solid attached on there. Now once we've got everything mollied on here that we need mollied on and everything slid on that we need slid on, we can go to clipping things on the belt. Now modern holsters and mag pouch accessories come with clips. Now, this is one example of the types of clips. This is uh, Legion's holster makes this. There's a link to this and a coupon code to it down below to this pouch. But they make a lot, of the, a lot of other pouches that use this same attachment system for belts. So basically it's just a push button on the bottom and a little metal bar and you can attach this onto the belt and then you close it up and then slide this clip over and now no matter how much it gets hit it doesn't attach it doesn't detach this from the belt so it's a rock solid attachment system it pushes it a little bit away from the belt to give you clear 
line of sight, clear access into your pouch. I really like these little attachment points. There's a couple other clip styles we're going to use here. I'm going to show you how this attaches on here to start with. So we're going to run it around to the front of the belt. He's got three of these that he wants to attach onto the front. So right by this front buckle up at the top. So we take our pouch, slide it to where we want it. You can see from the inside here. Clip this close. You see it pops in place. And then slide the little button over, and now it's locked in. So we're going to put two more of them on here for him. Do you have another magazine? Uh, yeah. And now we've got them set up with the three mags. And a good thing about these single mag pouches that clip on and off is if later on he wants one clipped to the other side of the belt in order to do a strong side only reloads, he can do that without having to rebuy pouches. Really like this setup. Now another type of that same clip system, you can see here where you clip it around the belt and then there's a locking mechanism over the top. It's very common on Blackhawk brand accessories and holsters. So we pop it down, push these little tabs in, and then this locks onto the belt the same way. So throw it onto our belt here, clip it over, slide this up and lock it in. So he's got two handcuff pouches. We're going to get those in place for him. And now he's got his cuffs locked onto his belt. And again, if he wants to move these after we've got the belt set up, he's got lots of other real estate he can pop them onto because he's got clips. And if this was Molly attachable systems, we'd be able to move it other different places just by unsliding them. We wouldn't have to take everything off the belt in order to put everything back on again just to move one pouch. So now we've got his holster. We want to make sure we get the holster on his right side. This is something that's going to be moved around a little bit. Ordinarily, I'd suggest using a Safari Land UBL or another type of holster system that's got loops on it. His holster right now is coming off of another belt. He's going to be attaching it with a UBL later. And for right now, he's got just this clip attachment. So this is going to clip the same way. Ordinarily, we would slide the gun uh, on a UBL system onto the belt first. Now when we attach the pistol onto the belt, we attach the holster on, we want to use it unlo unloaded gun and we also want to make sure there's nothing directly back behind the grips of the pistol so that way Nothing is going to keep this gun from coming out when he uses it. Obviously, all this stuff needs adjustment. We want to make sure that this clears whatever's behind it. Ideally, we don't want anything behind it, but you know, the real world sometimes throws us some problems with not having anything directly behind the pistol. We would definitely want to make sure this clears it. And in our case of our handcuffs to the butt of the gun, we've got some clearance there, so we should be good to go. Now, finally, we've got our radio pouch. Uh, this one is from Turtleback. And this pouch uses a 180 degree attachment method. So just this piece attaches to the belt and it Velcros on, which makes this super easy if you want to move it around from one place to the other later. We do 180 degree turn and slide this off. It's a lot better than the 90 degree turns on the stock Motorola radio pouches. The stock Motorola radio pouches are in a 90 degree turn and sometimes that causes the pouch to come off of the belt unexpectedly when you're fighting with people. Eric doesn't know anything about fighting with people though, right? Uh, no, I did watch a lot of Kung Fu movies growing up. So Kung Fu movies? I'm inspired. You're inspired? Yeah. Well, he wouldn't know anything about that, obviously, but uh, he's actually like the scariest person I've ever met in my life. But we're gonna get this on there so now he's not gonna have the problem with the radio coming off the belt when he's fighting with somebody. To be fair, most of his fighting is done recreationally. I'm a little concerned. You keep calling me Eric. Everybody knows Sancho. <laughs> Everybody knows you it's Sancho. Rusty Sancho. Rusty Sancho. That's his wrestling name. All right. So once we have this Velcroed on, we just pop the radio in place and swing it around. And then this can attach to the center placket of our vest cover. So we're all ready to hit the street. We don't have to attach another thing to epaulets or anything like that. And go right to the center, and then he'd be able to grab it with either his right hand or his left hand if he's in trouble. 
All right, so that's how you set up one of these new Micro Molly belts. This one's from Safe Life Defense, and luckily we're able to get Rusty a, uh, a new belt here because his old one was getting kind of long in the tooth. Harumph. Mm -hmm. If you want to find any of the things that you've seen on here, all of these pouches and stuff, we've got links to all of them down below. Also got some coupon codes for some of them in case you're interested. We're always trying to save you guys a little bit of money. If you got comments or questions about the setup here or about how to get these things attached or what pouches we use and what we like and don't like about them, put some comments and questions down in the comments section down below. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos, or head on over to Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these folks. Or you can check out my Instagram feed. There's a link down in the description, but you can catch live streams of me rapping while drinking coffee and eating a donut. Later.